Hi friends, this is Xluma, and today I will show you how to randomize Pokemon Scarlet and Violet using uh, my very own toolkit that I made uh, over the past week and that I've shown a little bit on Twitter. And to do so, first of all, you guys, I want to make sure that you have a dump of your game version and update does not matter. And you, you will also want to make sure that you have Python installed, specifically Python 3.10. And to verify if you have Python installed, on Windows you can open a CMD by tapping CMD in the search bar and typing Python. If you have Python 3.10, uh, minor version doesn't matter showing up, then you're all set. If you don't have it, um, it is very likely that micro, um, a Microsoft Store page will open up directly to Python. If you can, you can install it from there. Otherwise, you can install it from the official Python website that I will link down in the description. You download the 3.10 binary, install it, and make sure that you add it to path. It's going to be a little option when uh, the installer opens up, so make sure that you have that. If you install it from Microsoft Store, you don't have to do that. So once you have a dump your game and uh, Python installed, then you head over to the description to the very first link and it's going to bring you to this github page which contains all the code for my uh, randomizer you will head to the release page go down to the asset tab and you will see scarlet violet randomizer 1.0 zip download that and put it somewhere uh, i'll just leave it on the desktop for now good you will open the folder and it will be a couple of things that, but uh, the only thing that you will really care about is the config.json uh, you can open this in any text editor that you use like I'm gonna open it uh, in notepad just for uh, just to show that you can use it with literally anything there we go and there's gonna be a couple of options in here that will allow you to customize the randomization that you're gonna get so uh, currently we have a wild pokemon randomizer a trainer randomizer personal data randomizer starters including all the gift pokemons a static randomizer and tm randomizer is coming uh, soonish so for all of them there is a uh, is enabled field so like if you want the randomizer to actually go over this randomizer leave that to yes if you don't want uh, randomization in that uh, category just change what's between the quotes to no and this applies to all uh, of the options so to go a little bit over them so uh, one randomizer well not much customization to be done there uh, trainer has the most with six pokemon on all trainers perfect ivs ai smart uh, randomizing terra types so um note on that this will only affect trainers that have uh, a set type so for example gym leaders have one pokemon that uh, has a set terra type if this is enabled to yes and this to no for example um only the pokemons that do not have their terra type set, uh, to be default meaning like the primary type will be randomized otherwise if this is set to yes no matter if this is set to yes or no all pokemons will have their terror type randomized this kind of gets really fun if this is set to yes personal data randomizer um you can choose if you want randomized abilities or randomized movesets starter randomizer um randomize all gift just means that if this is set to no only the starters will be randomized. If this is set to yes, all gifts will be randomized. Uh, randomized for type speaks for itself. Same thing here, static randomizers, uh, randomize uh, terra type for static terra. So what this means uh, in the wild, uh, well, if you played the game, there's a couple of terra, of terra like uh, already terrestrialized Pokemon in the wild. So if you randomize the static Pokemon, you can then randomize the terra type for them. And that's pretty much it for uh, all the options. Customize it how you want. And once you're done, you're going to save it with Control S or just go to File, uh, Save. This is French, but 
uh, don't mind me and I close this and you will double click on the randomized.batch file so all it does before I get told that this is a virus you're gonna get hacked this is all it does it launches the randomizer.py so you don't have to do it yourself and I don't want to explain that so you double click this you will get some output uh, depending on the options that you've got it's just some logs that I actually forgot to to remove and it's gonna take like a second or two so once it's done it's gonna be like press uh, a key to continue so just press a key it's gonna close and you will notice that you have a new folder called output if you go inside you have two things first you have the rent the ramfs folder which uh, contains all the randomized files if you want to just like look at them or something and then we have a zip file called randomizer.zip. This is the second step of the randomization um, because uh, Scarlet and Violet actually use a single five gigabyte file for the ROMFS. Um, the community came up with uh, clever ways to patch the game, which means we are, we are gonna have to use those ways. And uh, currently there's a tool for that called the Trinity Mod Loader. Uh, if you've been around in the scene for a little bit now, uh, you're probably accustomed to this tool. If you're not, I'm going to show you the ropes around it. You can head down to the description again to the second link, which is going to bring you to uh, this page on Game, ban on Game Banana. And you just, uh, just hit here, just download it, and put it somewhere. So I'm going to open mine, should be right there. So you're gonna have uh, all of this whole folder. You're gonna look for gftool.filesystemexplorer.exe. This is um, the program. You're gonna launch it. Uh, for some of you, you might get an error uh, saying that libudol is missing. Uh, if you don't plan on extracting the ROM FS of the game with this tool, then ignore that because it's not gonna affect uh, your ability to patch the game and this is where you actually need uh, an extracted game beforehand and um, the way I recommend to do this personally is by using an emulator such as Yuzu or uh, Ryujinx and uh, specifically in Ryujinx you can right click the game in your view if you have it like if you have it open, extract data ROM FS and select any folder uh, that would contain the extracted ROM FS. I think Yuzu has a similar option, um, but it's gonna output it in like its own uh, data folder. So uh, just do that to extract the ROM FS and then you're gonna have a full on ROM FS. So you're gonna have four folders and if you wanna make sure that it works, just go look into arc. If you have two files, with like a really big one then it worked all right so with that said with Trinity you're gonna find that extracted ROM FS that you just did so for me it was in uh, ROM hacking game Scarlet there we go and then once it detects uh, the ROM FS just wait a little bit and you get a new folder you're gonna get a green bar at the bottom that just is loading you don't need to care about this for now what we're gonna do now you're gonna click on add mod and then you're gonna head down to the randomizer folder which is somewhere right there go to output and double click on the randomizer.zip file it's gonna appear over here and all you have to do now is take it wait for this to finish loading if it's taking a little bit of time and i'll just take this time to say this that you can add as many mods as you want in there uh if you had to game better than they had like there's some fantastic texture mods that you could add on top to improve your gameplay and once you have all of them added all of them ticked make sure that they are ticked go to file set output folder and uh I guess I'm just gonna set it directly to a new folder called uh, mod pack. Select that and click apply mods. You handle a little bit of this is done. And it's gonna open a new context window. 
and you'll see that in my mod pack folder I have a new RAMFS folder with an arc and all of my patched randomizer files and what you do with this RAMFS you drop this RAMFS either on your uh, modded switch SD card where mods are supposed to go so I think on uh, atmosphere is supposed to be like uh, atmosphere contents the title of my video the, of the game and you would drop the ROMFS right there on an emulator for example as such as if you're Jinx you just right click the game open mods uh, can ignore all that just gonna delete whoops I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that and then you just drag it over there and then you can launch the game and if you did this all right once you're gonna pop into the game you're gonna have a randomized Pokemon and we're gonna check that in just a second over here all right we're now in the game and uh, let's just run around a little bit to see if we have some randomized Pokemon to head up this road Technically, we should see Pokemon starting to spawn. There we go. So we have Articuna, we have this guy, uh, I don't remember the name. Roaring Moon over there, my god, Kyogre. And just Bishar just running up the water, and as you can see, um, Pokemons are probably randomized, uh, I don't have, I don't think I can catch any of this, but, uh, like, maybe, maybe I can find it, let's see, let's see. So if we fight that Bronzong, um, uh, Bronzor, my bad, hopefully, we, no, wrong button, let's try this. Hopefully if, I, if he attacks us, we can see if he has some custom moves no I didn't probably didn't randomize that but uh, as you can see it just works perfectly fine and yeah um, if you end up using uh, any of this please um, well uh, should it shoot any content that you do uh, my way I really love uh, watching people do videos with what I do and uh, if you use it also, um, credits, um, how do I say this, not mandatory, but uh, always appreciated, I guess, uh, link to my Twitter, always does a trick if you want to credit me, otherwise uh, I don't really care, I do this for fun, so, um, well that's it, and uh, I hope this was simple enough for you guys to follow, if it is not, um, I'll do my best to respond to any problems people might have in the description or tag me on Twitter. I'm probably gonna have a better time answering over there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have fun with this. And uh, if you have any features that you guys want or bug fixes, also tweet at me. I would really love to know what you guys want. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, have fun, and I'll see you guys another time.